I recently made a video about how you can make type and logo distortion with a scanner and a computer. There's also a way to do this without a scanner in Photoshop using the liquify filter. And I'll just go in here real quick and show you the, some of the basics. So if you have some type or an illustration or a logo or something like that. So I have this type right here and I have that layer highlighted and I can just go to filter liquify and a window comes up. It will allow you to basically just push and pull pixels around and you can change the size of your brush. I like to do it with the bracket keys, left and right bracket keys. You can also do that right here. And you can also change the pressure. So you see how much it moves a type right there. If I lower the pressure, it's gonna not move as much. You can also change the density, which is kind of just changes how the, uh, this filter reacts, kind of the strength of it. And you can go in here and push around pixels. So if I wanted to say, really stretch out part of these letters, I could turn up the pressure and the density. And you see how that has a lot more of an effect all of a sudden. It's good to kind of change the size of your brush. That way it, it looks a little more realistic. I think you're always gonna get better results if you do it in the scanner. Um, but you know, you got a lot more control in Photoshop. So that's, that's the counterpoint. Um, the other thing you could do, let's just go ahead and hit apply. And the other thing you could do, you could kind of get real tricky with this and make some selections and then just kind of chop up your type like that. There's some other uses for the liquify filter, which I may show in a later tutorial, but that's kind of one way to use it for type and logos.